Edinburgh CISD Distance Learning Google Classroom Learning Series, Module 8, The Classwork Tab, Part 4, Post a Question. We're back at the Classwork tab, and we're going to go to the blue Create button and Question. When you arrive, you have different options when posting a question. You could type the question here, add instructions there. You can add any resources. These probably look familiar to you. They are the same options that you have when you post an assignment. You can create something on the fly. And you have two options on the type of questions that you can ask your students, either a short answer or a multiple choice. I'm coming back up here to the question. I've already planned out this question beforehand, and I have a corresponding document where I've thought out the question that I'm going to be giving my students. The first question type that I'm going to show you is the short answer. So under the question, I have the question I want to ask my students. What is one connection you can make to the word creativity? I'm going to copy that. I'm going to come back over, and I'm going to paste it. Do I have some instructions? I sure do. There they are, instructions. I'm going to paste them over. By default, it's on short answer. This is what I've been planning for, a short answer. And back at my classwork tab. Do I have anything else that I want to attach? I do. I have an image on creativity. So I'm going to come back. And I must think, hmm, where did I put my image? Oh, yeah, I downloaded it on my desktop. Let me paste that. I'm going to go to the Add button, and I'm going to attach a file. And I'm going to upload it from my device. And there it is. Open and upload. Now I've successfully typed in all of my information for my first short answer post. On the right-hand side, just as before, you have options to assign it to more than one class, to make customizations to add to or assign to certain students, um, either give it a point value. I'm going to make this an ungraded. And you can also give it a due date. I'm going to make this an ongoing discussion all the way to March 31st. Now on topic, this does have to do with that creativity piece that I built earlier, which was part of unit five. And take note here, students can reply to each other and students can edit their answers. These are options that I'm going to leave on. You do have the option to turn those off. If you wanted to just simply click on the box to remove the check mark. Now I'm ready to ask, but before I do, let me show you what's on this triangle tip. You can ask from here also. You can schedule save draft or discard draft. Oh, no, no, no. We don't want to discard. We've worked so hard on it. So now I'm ready to ask. And now I've successfully added a question. It's nestled under my unit five topic. There it is, and there's the icon. So now I've added one type of question. I'm now going to go and show you how to add a different type of question. So I'm going to go back up here to the create blue button. I'm going to move down to question. And this time I'm going to move the drop down menu to multiple choice. It's similar. I have a question box, an instructions box, but now I have bullets for my options. So I'm coming back up to my question box. And since I've already previously planned the question that I'm going to ask my students, I'm going to open up my planning document. And there it is. The question that I want to ask is, which cafeteria food do you miss the most? I'm going to copy that. I'm going to come over here to my question and I'm going to paste it. Instructions, I have none. It's a simple question. 
to build classroom culture and try to connect with my students. I may not have seen them in a while. I just want to talk to them. Just got to get a conversation started. So in option one, I have pizza. So I'm going to copy that, paste it over, and I'm going to continue with the process. You also have the option to add an option. You do have the option to add an option on the fly, something like other. Now that I'm done, I'm going to come back up to the top right hand corner and consider my options again. Do I want to assign to more than one of my classes? Do I want to assign it to only a select few of my students? Do I want to make this a graded assignment? I don't. Do I want to give it a due date? Does this have a topic? You know what? I'm going to create a topic called Classroom Talk. Then I'm going to ask. Now I have a new topic called Classroom Talk and one discussion post. This concludes module eight, the work classwork tab, part four, post a question. Thank you.